today I'm going to show you how easily you can make these tasty tofu burgers at home. For this I'll be roasting some vegetables in the air fryer and the best part is I'm not going to be pressing the tofu or waiting for hours because I didn't have the time today so I'll be using tofu straight from the packet so keep watching and let's get started. Welcome to Shine with Shops. This channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me. For this I'm taking 200 grams tofu packet which I got from Costco. This is extra firm and I like to use firm or extra firm in my recipes if you notice. I'm not going to press the tofu. I'm just going to drain the water rinse and keep it aside into the air fryer basket i'm adding four cups of broccoli florets which i rinsed and patted dry these are mini sweet peppers which i'll be washing and cutting in half i'm going to add two cups of mini sweet peppers to the broccoli and i'll be adding plenty of spinach this packet says triple washed but it's a good idea to check before adding them. I'm going to add 4 cups of spinach. This may look a lot but they are going to shrink as soon as they are roasted. I love to add spinach in my recipes to boost iron content. Now adding 1 medium size onion diced all set to roast in air fryer. I am setting the temperature to 390 degree Fahrenheit for 8 minutes. In the meantime, I am keeping my food processor ready. Bought this new KitchenAid with multiple blades. So cool that I don't have to twist, just snap it straight and it gets locked. Let's see if the veggies are roasted. Nicely done. Look how they got shrunk. This is how it should be, not overcooked because we will be air frying again in the shape of burgers. The broccoli is not burnt or too soft. Did you know that one cup of broccoli has as much vitamin C as an orange? You can also see how I am able to pick it up using a fork. This is good. So now I am going to put it in the food processor. Now pulse the veggies. 3 to 4 times or run it for 3 to 4 seconds. That's it. Should be crumbly texture. And now I'm going to transfer it to a mixing bowl. Let's add some flavors. Drizzle in 1 teaspoon of olive oil. Add salt according to your taste. I'm adding 1 teaspoon pink Himalayan rock salt. 1 teaspoon crushed black pepper. This is going to give that extra flavor and I'm going to add dried herbs or half teaspoon of Italian seasoning which consists of thyme, rosemary, oregano. For an extra kick I'm adding about 1 teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Mix the ingredients together and here comes the star of our recipe, tofu. I'm directly going to crumble it using my hand. Since this tofu is extra firm, I didn't feel the need to press tofu. Just drain, rinse and ready to use. This will be a bit moist. Instead of tofu, you can easily substitute with paneer. I wanted to bring in this uh, tofu burger for those who are looking for dairy free option. But if you like paneer, this is going to be an excellent option as well along with the roasted vegetables whether it's paneer or tofu do give it a try you will love it mix everything well at this point you'll notice the roasted veggies are also moist as they release water so i'm adding one cup gram flour or basin this will help to bind the mixture well and absorb some extra moisture from the roasted vegetables Using my hand to combine and hold a portion to see if it's binding well. Now I'm going to take a big size of portion and make it into a ball shape and just press it to make burgers. 
It's okay if it's slightly moist. It won't get over dry when you air fry. That's how I like to keep it. This is a decent sized burger to eat as is or make sandwiches. Place each burger one by one into the basket without crowding. This is a great way to include some veggies and protein into your diet. Let's begin to air fry. I'm setting the temperature to 385 degree Fahrenheit and setting the time for 10 minutes. If you are wondering how else to use tofu, this will come in handy. After 10 minutes, I'm just going to flip each piece. Sometimes I brush oil, but this time I'm not going to brush them with any oil. Just flip and then close the basket. And this time I'm going to air fry for 8 minutes under 385 degree Fahrenheit. It's all done now. Let's see how it turned out. Beautiful. Tofu burgers are ready. Serve it however you wish. This is so healthy and nutritious. This burger is rich in iron, protein, vitamin C, vitamin A and calcium. Great for you, great for your kids and great for your health. I like it spicy. So I'm going to use sriracha hot sauce. Absolutely love it. I'm always trying to see how can I add more veggies in my plate and bring great flavors to your plate. If you're looking for more fun tofu recipes, I've made crispy chili tofu, tofu kurma. I'll be dropping the link in the description below, so do check that out. And if you like this recipe, do share it with your friends. Stay tuned for another exciting recipe and don't forget to shine with shops.